few weeks ago, I made this video about an awesome AI platform, DubDub, which is more than enough for running a faceless YouTube channel. Now there have been some new updates, which means that now you can not only create faceless YouTube videos, but can also make talking head videos for YouTube, Instagram, as well as TikTok theme pages. I will also give you two new video ideas as a base, and you can start creating your own content around them. And the best part is, if you don't have a computer or laptop, you can also download their iOS or Android app and quickly make a video and upload it online. Currently, there is a contest going on for talking AI videos, and you should definitely participate and win cash prizes. You can go ahead and sign up for a free account on DubDub, but if you use my link from the video description, you'll get a 25% discount on the annual plan, plus an additional 15% discount if you use my code as SCHOLAR15. It's also helpful because you will get a bunch of useful AI tools, premium voiceovers, commercial rights, along with voice cloning and no watermarks. So once you are on the studio dashboard, you have to click on new file button here to start a new project. You can also create different folders to keep your projects and files organized. Since my last video about this AI platform, there are two new features introduced. One is video editing and other one talking photo. We will explore them shortly. So when you click on the new file button, this will bring you to the writing canvas. From here, you can use AI to write your video script and generate voiceover. So here are my new video ideas. So I will press the forward slash key on my keyboard and select anything from the drop down which is relevant to my objective. But for now, I will edit this AI prompt because I wanted to write a custom prompt. Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, then versus now, two sentences each, and what were the improvements later on? Then press the return key. And we can see here that AI has generated a nice script for our short video. Another example of a video idea is that you can write a script about Albert Einstein's warnings. So once AI has written the script, you can edit it here on the canvas and make it sound like Einstein's own words. The next step is to select a suitable voiceover profile. From the right side, you can expand this menu. Here you have all the premium and standard voices along with different languages, which also opens up the submenu for further stylizing the audio. And from here, set a tone of the voice as per your desired style. The custom speed slider is one of a kind, and I've never seen such option in other AI voiceover platforms and you can quickly filter the audio profiles by choosing a scenario, style, gender, and even age of the personality. There are even more custom features which no other AI voiceover platform offers, like you can assign alias to words and can add them to lexicon, so that the AI remembers this word next time. Phoneme is when there is a special character that you want to include. If you have any specific text like temperature or any kind of currency symbol, you can set the pronunciation as well by selecting it and clicking on the Say As button. You can even emphasize on a specific feature or word by selecting it and then clicking on this emphasis button, which will open up a menu on the word and you can choose emphasis, elongation, or both. This is really handy when you are generating voiceovers for a documentary or a scary story. Now let's say you have some high-paced and low-paced scenes. You can select a sentence and click on local speed button to set a custom speed just for that sentence or even multiple sentences. And the best part is if you want to include multiple speakers in the script, Simply select any specific text and then click on multi-speaker button and select the desired voiceover profile just for that part. If the voice rhythm is not good on any specific word, such as if there is a pause or you want to reduce the pause duration, then place the cursor on that word and click on rhythm to set accordingly from the submenu, or even add a pause similarly if you want so. In the pause settings, you can set the duration of a pause for special characters such as comma, period, question mark, etc. To make it engaging and entertaining, you can click on the sound effect button and choose some really cool sound effects from the library and can even upload your own sound. Just click where you want to add a sound effect, then choose the one you want. Not only that, you also have control over its volume. Similarly, you have a library of royalty-free background music with an option to filter between scenarios and styles or upload your own music. And if you want to turn on or off the lexicon file, you can do so here. By clicking on Generate button, we'll compile all the voiceover data and generate a file, or click on Export to download a high-quality WAV file, MP3, MP4 with subtitles, or just an SRT file to upload to YouTube for subtitles. For the sake of this tutorial, I will click on Generate button. It only takes a few seconds, and once it's done, you will see this option to create a video using this newly generated voiceover. This will redirect you to the online video editor, and import the generated voiceover file automatically on the project timeline. From here, you can start creating your video. Or if you downloaded the voiceover file, then you can import it at a later stage. Since this video is short, I am going to create a talking photo style video. Simply click on the talking photo option at the left sidebar and click on this thumbnail. 
it will ask you to upload a photo of yourself. I will just select the one for my library and then click on the next button. Then it will ask you to generate an AI voiceover by writing a script, or by uploading an audio file, or upload a video file from which it can extract the audio. I will just select the audio file which I downloaded earlier, and then click on Generate Talking Video. By going back to Media Category from the left sidebar, you can see your current video in progress. Once the processing is done, you can click on this icon to drop it on the project timeline and edit it from there, if you want to add anything. You can also click on Text Option to add different styles of text into your video. Once all done, just click on Export button at top right corner and choose the settings as per your needs. The video will be exported in just a few seconds. You can also generate automatic captions for that video. From the main dashboard, simply click on Transcription, then simply upload the video file, choose the language, and click on this button to start the transcription. Once it's done, you can copy all the text from here, and can also download the SRT subtitles file as well. Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, which I proposed in 1915, revolutionized our understanding of gravity by describing it as the curvature of space-time caused by massive objects. Today, general relativity remains a fundamental theory in physics. So this is how you can create videos by using just one AI platform which offers script writing, voiceovers, video editing, talking photo videos generation, as well as transcription features to create your videos from scratch. Sign up with a free account on Dubda platform by using the link in the video description, and use the Scholar 15 to save up to 40% when upgrading to a premium plan. If you are interested in learning more about Dubda platform and want to see some more video examples, then check out this video right here.